Well, Meg, welcome to Aldershot Town, the Board of Directors. What, what was your reaction on, on being appointed? Well, uh, to be honest, um, I didn't expect this, but uh, uh, with being a member of Sahara, they did ask uh, uh, that uh, you know, one of us represent Sahara to become a Board of Member mm -hmm. in Aldershot. And they sort of chose me, uh, but I'm very happy to be here actually, uh, because um, being from a town where uh, we are living in uh, and very much as part of the community, uh, it's a great privilege for me to uh, now join the Board of Directors in Aldershot. Um, and I'm sure I'm looking forward to working in this club and uh, seeing what we can do, how far we can take Aldershot as it is really. Mm -hmm. That's, that, that's how uh, it's been really. Yeah. And maybe this is an unfair question, why, why do you think you were chosen out of such a, such a strong potential list of candidates? Um, again, I suppose you, you have to ask the rest of the guys really, but uh, you know. Uh, but um, I feel that, um, well I shouldn't be, you know, I'm not sure whether I should be saying this or not, but uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, me being one of the local lads as it, it is here. Uh, so with Sara, although our members are spread out over the UK, uh, I find that the majority of them are based in Aldershot uh, as such, and me as well, um, uh, as myself being based in Aldershot, uh, they decided that uh, among, the, the, among us, they thought that I might, might be able to best represent Sahara uh, with Aldershot already, mm -hmm. that, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, the relationship with Sahara has, has been growing over the last 12 months really. What, what, from your point of view, from the Sahara point of view, why, why has this relationship started and why is it so important? Well, it's, it, it's, it's been um, quite, um, uh, how should I say, uh, Aldershot as it is, uh, what, what I found with Aldershot is that it is a community based club as it is. And football being a universal language as such, and Sahara, we have a Sunday league team uh, with, with Sahara and so uh, we sort of got together with some of the uh, people from Aldershot and uh, we, we had an affinity uh, because of football. Uh, we, we, uh, we were linked together with football and from there on, uh, because it's also a community based thing, it's, it sort of became natural for us to have football and community to, to be linked up together really. And so, uh, from there, uh, of course, uh, we had Aldershot uh, Town representing uh, the UK in Nepal um, and also uh, Sahara was there to make sure that all this went smoothly and as such. So it, it has sort of grown from there and now uh, perhaps it's only natural that the second stage of this is that we also take up um, uh, take up some of the responsibilities here in this town and um, because it is also uh, our home uh, and together we built a community out of, uh, of, well, with football as an excuse really. And that's it for you, you say football is the universal language, the, the global game and the word, the word integration has been used several times already but I suppose that football can be the catalyst the, the glue almost that brings different communities together? Yes, definitely. Um, with, uh, I'll say with the present, pre the present scenario as it is, uh, we have the old generations um, uh, and those who are much more set in their ways. But more than that, I think it's, we, uh, it's uh, important that we have to look forward to the younger generations all who have now been brought up here in this town as such. It is. Uh, I think most of them will regard uh, Aldershot as their hometown more than back in Nepal. So it is this uh, sort of group that we need to look at and also to make them feel uh, uh, much more at home with Aldershot Town coming into play really. I think that's very important to look forward and hopefully most of the uh, parents will be able to bring their youngsters uh, into Aldershot Town and, uh, and ensure that Aldershot Town is their football of choice.